then that is one reason why you cannot talk about religion, we did not talk about justice. They go together. All the people who presented religion to human beings were dealing with materialism on the one hand and spiritualism on the other. What these young people are telling us, we have politicians almost everywhere in the world who know that the most dangerous weapon to deploy is the fear of death among human beings. Because whether you like it or not as a human being, you are here for a short time, you're going to die. There are three locations most people don't pay attention to. If you want fun in this life, you go to the mall. If you want to know people are coming and dying, go to the hospital. If you want to know the people who are jumping up and down and are gone, go to the graveyard. Most people don't want to go to these three areas. You come to Africa today, the African people want to be as developed as everybody else. All the young people like to have iPad, iPod and computers like everybody else. But they can only get that if they have leaders. But leaders who are hungry for power and they can use religion are going to use religion to help them generate violence. And become, that's what young people are saying to us. We must learn to know how to create structures. That's what Kwame Nkrumah recognized. One of the reasons why the one-party state was accepted was because the African leaders didn't want people to fight over religion, region, ethnicity, and languages. And they had a one-party state. But they couldn't do it everywhere. They couldn't do it in Nigeria, for example. It's too big. You couldn't have a one-party state. The most important thing for the African leaders to know is that if you want to change the lives of your people, you have to go back to consensusism. Nkrumah was a Catholic. Nyerere was a Catholic. Ufebwanyi, they all accepted the one-party dictatorship. They thought they can create a nation. Mugabe when, is a Catholic, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Robert Gabriel and Mugabe. Mugabe is one, yes. <laughs> so, but you see, but they were all convinced by the idea that if we are going to create a new society, we have to have conscience. That's what's why Kwame Nkrumah would say, the African mind is the battleground of three competing paradigms. Traditional African religion, Arabo-Islamic, and Euro-Western Christianity.